Well, what's up guys welcome to another video this video I'm going to be showing you an alternative external storage solution that you may not be aware of and that you will probably like a whole bunch now in today's world you know everything's going type C USB um, and also you know you get your external SSD drives that plug in uh, to your type C ports and you can either get you know high-end SSDs, uh, a little slower SSDs, you know, but you're going to get pretty good performance write and read out of most of those devices. You know, like I'm, I'm talking about like the Samsung, like T5s and stuff that are out there uh, that are just, you know, throw and go, plug and play, you know, and stick it in your drive. And you're going to average 400 to 500, you know, read, maybe not write, but, uh, you know, good speeds. <laughs> Anyway, so what we're going to look at today is two products. One is from Pluggable. This is the USB 3.1 Gen 2 uh, NVMe SSD enclosure. All right, so basically uh, you can use this for the newer flash drives that are out there, like this A1000 from Kingston. 30 times faster, get that, 30 times faster than your typical 7000 RPM hard drive and they're quicker than the standard SSDs that you plug in too. Now this is a 48, 480 gig uh, solid state drive. All right. So NVMe, what does NVMe stand for? Non-volatile uh, memory execution or something like that. All right. Don't quote me. I'm just trying to do that off the top of my head. So this is a lot quicker. And smaller look at this I guess you can say it's smaller so this is the pluggable let's just unplug it this is the pluggable housing for an NVMe solid-state drive now a lot of these are being put internally to laptops today that's what their main OS drive runs on but if you want to get the same kind of speeds and have this external then this is the way to do it so this housing is aluminum uh, as you can see here, it's got holes for ventilation on both sides, which is nice. Uh, it has a locking mechanism here on the back to make sure that this doesn't come apart. Uh, and then it's got a type C uh, port here with a LED here that tells you it's active. All right. So if I try to pull this apart right now, not going to come apart. Um, it's locked. So let's go ahead and unlock back here and then we can pull it apart. Now, let's go ahead and just take it completely apart. So you can see here, this is just a hollow housing. You can see through it, hopefully. There. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, look at that. Some people say you never see that light at the end of the tunnel there. You just got a glimpse. Uh, so then here is the actual Kingston drive in here. Got it upside down, then come pooper. So I have taken this A1000. This is basically a hard drive, a 400, almost a 500 gig hard drive right here and it's NVMe with that support um, which is super duper quick this mounts in here real easy this is just a little rubber piece that you can slide aside you can see it fits in here and you just plug it into here super quick I, I installed this like within 10 seconds okay and it comes out just as easy basically you'll just slide this and then pull it out and you'll have the little drive you can do whatever you want with uh, so that's what this drive looks like that is a 500 gig hard drive believe it or not in this little tiny card uh, the Kingston A1000. So let's go ahead and just slide this back in. Locked. Good to go. Now, box it came in. Uh, again, SSD enclosure. If you want some specs? This is the model. Connection to a Gen 2 up to 100 gigabits per second. And so, really, that is the limitation with this. Now, if it's internal, it's going to run a lot faster. We're running it through a USB-C uh, port, USB, so you're going to be at the limitation of the port, not the drive itself, so that's what's key. We're looking at two things here. We're looking at the enclosure from Pluggable to see what kind of speeds we're going to get from this guy, because some of these uh, enclosures just lose some connectivity, too. They don't even take up the full potential of the USB-C ports. Uh, SSD support, NVMe, uh, M.2, and then all these different... Uh, um, 
stuff here OS support Windows Mac OS and Linux now when I plug this into the Mac I did format it as EXFAT so just FYI on that um, sleek and slim tool free design rugged aluminum case for improved heat uh, dissipation and compatible with USB type A and USB C host of course you're going to lose more speed if you go to type A versus type C because this is 100 gigabits throughput so let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in and do a quick speed test so basically taking just a C to C and I'm going to plug it into my MacBook here one of the ports here and we're going to run a speed test on this guy and we're going to use the black magic speed test if I can get it to launch there we go and of course it's very very good to come out here and select your target drive and make sure that it sees the drive we want which for some reason is not showing up Make sure I got it plugged in. Let's make sure we got an LED. Okay, we got blue. There it is. So we're going to select it as our target. All right, and now we're going to run this guy. So I'm going to zoom in on the screen so you can see what kind of speeds we're going to get. So we got the right on the left, read on the right. Let's hit start. Look at that. Holy moly. 874 megabits per second on the right. That is insane. Reads. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We're pushing 100 gigabits almost. We're at 900. That is taking full advantage of your USB-C ports because the SSDs you get today, they only run, well, this, this second pass is a little slower. We're at five. Um, but still, on the reads, we're seven almost 800 wow that is speedy quick that is much faster than those ssd drives you buy to die so if you're going to start wanting to do quicker uh like 4k video and stuff with your external ssds this is a solid solution to work quicker start throwing out them t3s and t5 samsung drives and start looking to get an enclosure like this from pluggable throwing in an nvme compatible flash drive solid state drive and you're going to get speeds like this insane quick fast if you try to get this kind of speed out of an ssd drive that are out there like the extremes um, from like samsung uh, you're going to spend a buttload of money like 300 bucks just to try to get that and you're not going to attain these speeds i don't think so this is like a solid solution. And again, Kingston's A1000 won't break the bank. This guy here, uh, 500 gig. Now, if you start getting up, of course, you're going to spend more money. But this is a solid, affordable solution to get really good external speeds on your drives. All right. I'll have links in the show notes for both of these things. Uh, I just can't stress enough, guys. If you want a solid solution for speed for mobile external storage, this is it this combination. It's good to go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.